Mambo. Hey! Introduction into Dane Lamb and Sean Connolly, who are joining us here from the Hawaii Symphony Orchestra. Welcome into the show, boys. Thanks for having us. Thank you for that. We should just start all the segments and <laughs> shows like that, I think. We'd love to keep you guys here. But let's get into this Hale Kulani Masterworks series. Dane, tell us about it. So it's a series of 12 concerts that the Hawaii Symphony Orchestra does with some of the very, very best music from the best composers of the past, of today, from around the world, and from Hawaii. We perform it in the historic Hawaii Theatre, supported by the wonderful Halakalani Hotel. And we're opening next Friday, uh, October 4, with a program that features all American music, including that. The West Side Story, symphonic dances from West Side Story. It's mm -hmm. all the best bits of West Side Story mashed up together with the power of this full orchestra. Oh, I love that. Sean, I want to go over to you. Tell us a little bit about that uh, rendition there and then what you're going to be uh, participating in October 4th. Yeah, so that was it's just a little bit of the mambo section okay. uh, from West Side Story. And, and what Bernstein did that was so exciting um, in that piece uh, was take all these elements of New York at that time in the late 50s, like uh, Puerto Rican and Cuban music and jazz, and he put it into this uh, piece that we can play on the concert stage, which is so fun. So there I got to play a little bit of Latin-influenced music. I also get to walk some bass lines. Mm -hmm. We get to hear some beautiful melodies and the, the strings of winds. It's just a, it's a really fun piece to bring in. Uh, I love that. All right, Dean, bring us over there October 4th. What else can people expect? I mean, West Side Story, but when we're talking the word master works, I mean, we're talking this is high-level stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of masters involved in this concert, including one of my countrymen, Ray Chen, who is wow. an absolute sensational violinist. He's not only a sensational violinist he is a YouTube and Instagram sensation mm -hmm. and he's playing the fiendishly difficult Barber violin concerto written by Samuel Barber in New York around the mid 20th century mm -hmm. it is such a showpiece for the violin and his violin is going to be steaming hot by the time it's finished oh I can't wait for that also what else can people uh, expect in addition to what's taking place right now uh, other works that are going to take place throughout the season well in addition to our masterworks series we've got our Kaiman Harper Symphony series where we right. have some of the very best mm -hmm. Hawaiian recording artists coming to play with the symphony. It's unique. You never get to experience the likes of Kaimane with the Hawaii Symphony Orchestra or Johnny Valentine with the Hawaii Symphony Orchestra. It's going to be amazing. We've got our filming concert series. So you get the film on the big screen, mm -hmm. but instead of a piped-in soundtrack, you have it played by live orchestra. <laughs> it's such a different experience. It's amazing. And I'm most excited about our Beethoven symphony series that we've got coming up next February and March. It's the first time ever in the history of the Hawaiian Islands that all nine Beethoven symphonies, you know, his famous fifth symphony, mm. ba 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 ba, right. you've got his Ode to Joy, all together in one place at one time with the amazing Hawaii Symphony Orchestra. I love that, Dean. How do we get tickets for all these different things? Stay up to date with what's happening. You just go to myhso.org, myhso.org, and you can find all the concerts right there. Okay, I love it. We could head to break right now. We've got about 20 seconds left, but why not? Can we just let it rip, Sean? Sure. Go yeah, ahead. As long as you guys will join me.